Can you guess what this is? Stay tuned to find out. It's jaw time with Mr. Mayberry. Time to draw. It's winter bird week. Welcome to Draw Time with Mr. Mayberry. It's winter bird week on Draw Time, so we're drawing things that have to do with winter birds. Today I want to show you how to draw a birdhouse. So let's get started. It's time to draw. I have my paper turned vertical and I'm just using a regular pencil to draw. I'm going to start right here kind of in the center um, with the outline of the edge of the roof. Now there's a lot of different designs for birdhouses. I'm just going with more of a traditional design today. Okay, I want to make it look like this roof is thicker so I'm going to put a little short line on the inside of both of these lines and then draw a second one that goes the same direction as the first. So this gives our roof some thickness. It's not just a flat line, it's, it's actually looks more like a board. And I try to make these, from this angle I'm trying to make the bottom of these two about the same uh, right across from each other. But the same distance down from the top. Okay, the inside of the front here, I'm going to come up a little ways from the end. And I'm going to slant this in like that. And I'm going to do the same thing over here, slanting in towards the middle. Again, trying to trying to match the slant. It's opposite, but try to make it equal to each other, and about the same distance down, too. And then I want to connect those two with a horizontal line. So this is this alone. Could, this could stand by itself as just a flat birdhouse. I'm going to try to make it look like it goes back into space, though. But this this could be just a picture of a birdhouse by itself. Let's go ahead and, and open, put the entrance in, just a circle or kind of an oval shape, a tall oval, right here in the center. So again, that, that could stand. Now, let's make this look more three-dimensional like it goes back into space. I'm going to go ahead and start, and we're going to make three lines that go the same direction from lower left to upper right. So I'm going to put one here, one on the edge here, and these two should be the same length, and this one down here at the bottom. So these are all three going the same direction. This one would be a little bit shorter because uh, there's an overhang on the front and the back of the birdhouse, so this the bottom edge of the birdhouse is a little bit shorter. Okay, I want to put another one here that shows the edge of this board right here like that. And on the end it's going to there's going to be a line that's vertical right here at the end. Then I can connect here and this this line's going to match the front edge like this. And then on the other side of the, oh, let's finish this out. Um, the edge of the uh, house here, in the back we're going to have a line that matches that. Okay, our birdhouse is taking shape. And then on the other side, what I started to say was you're going to see the underside of the board that's on this side because of the, the angle that we're looking at this. And again, the line goes the same direction as all these other lines, so right through here. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to shade in the the board here on the roof. If you're making a color picture, if you're adding color to this, you could make the roof a different color. Maybe it has a red roof or a blue roof. Probably something bright though. And then I'll shade along here as well. I still want to see the outlines, so I'm not going too dark. 
with the, the shading on the inside. And then I will shade darker though under here because there's shadow or the underneath that board there. Okay, now this one I did kind of sketchy. I'm going to go back and make the line, the outline darker of the entrance to the birdhouse. And because of the angle, we'll be able to see the thickness here on the inside of this board. We'll be able to see that it is a board. So I'm going to put a curve right here, just like that. Okay, a lot of birdhouses will have a peg out front that the bird can sit on before they go into the house. So I'm going to draw a peg here. I'm going to start with a, a curve. And then I'll make lines that match the same slanted line that we have over here. So it's going to slant down this direction from the top of the curve and also from the bottom of the curve. It doesn't have to be a really long line. In fact, I'll erase that just a little bit. And then on the end, we're going to put an oval that matches this curve. Here, we can start with that side and then just make it go around to make an oval and or circle either one and there you have a peg that the bird can sit on now there's a couple ways we can uh, finish this out of course let's first let's put a horizon line we don't want it sitting on the ground it's going to be actually up in the air but this will help give it a place so we'll see where the ground is in the sky i'm going to make this one like it's hanging from a tree so up at the top i want to put a circle on top that will be it's like a uh, piece that's been fastened to the, the birdhouse that now we can attach a rope or a wire that will go up to a branch. And I'm just going to give a just a slight indication that there's a tree up here by making a branch there and maybe come down here for the trunk of this tree. And this branch is not going to be super thick. It gets a little wider at the trunk. And then I can make it look like this is tied around the branch or wrapped around the branch here. Okay, since the drawing is mainly about the birdhouse, I'm not going to spend any time on the on the tree, but you could you could color that in or shade that in. You could also instead of have it hanging from a tree branch, you could have put two lines here at the bottom and make it look like the birdhouse is sitting on a pole. Um, I would shade underneath here because the birdhouse creates a shadow on the pole and it'd be darker up closer to the the top here and it'd get lighter as it goes down. Also you can shade inside of the birdhouse. You might even want to have a bird inside your birdhouse. Go ahead and clean up your drawing, add color if you'd like to. And this is our drawing for today the birdhouse. Well that's all for now. Thank you for taking time to draw with me. I hope you'll come back again and remember if you want to be a good artist do a little drawing every day. Burr. If you're wondering what this is it's a close-up of a feather. Thank you for watching till the end and I'll see you next time.